I've always been fascinated with electricity. My dad was a, a high voltage uh, utility lineman, and uh, so that's where I got the interest originally. And so I wanted to incorporate that knowledge and that uh, fascination with, with what I was doing with this. So that's where the name Power and Light Designs uh, came from. As a child, I started collecting insulators and high voltage equipment. Uh, everything from switches uh, to what's called cutouts. Um, I have a bunch of different insulators. Uh, again, it's all high voltage stuff, so it's, it's good sized things. I've got a, a room in my basement, uh, and that's where I, I've got most of it stored at. I'm a, a sales rep for a healthcare technology company, which I absolutely love. But at the end of the day, you know, there's nothing physical that comes out of anything that I do. Per se. So what I like about this, and I really enjoy and always have doing things with my hands, so it's almost an outlet in some respects to be able to create something with your hands and at the end of the day have a finished product uh, to show for, for your work. The docking stations and lamps are typically made of a mix of a wood base with reclaimed materials on top. So I usually start with a, with a could be a, an old drill, and take it apart and really start to formulate ideas on how to put it together as a lamp or a, a phone dock station. I actually bought a CNC, which is a router on a computer essentially, so I'm able to cut out some you know, neat parts with that. I get the opportunity to work with CAD, uh, computer aided design. So I'll take the, the reclaimed materials, it could be multiple items, and take them apart, sort of lay them out, and things evolve as they go. There's not, not really a lot of forethought in, um, which I actually like, because you can sort of invent things as you go, and each piece ends up being unique. This is really a, a micro business is what it is. And so one of the reasons I created it, I wanted to kind of venture into the entrepreneurship aspect of a business and you know, never ran a business. Um, so what's kind of neat about this is I, I'm able to do you know, the accounting aspect, the sales aspect, the physical um, creation of the products. Um, the marketing piece is interesting. Uh, I try to use social media. Uh, and other tools to market the products. Uh, so I've got a website, it's powerandlightdesigns.com, and that's just a, a springboard for where the products are sold. I actually sell them on Etsy. I've actually had some special orders uh, for retirement gifts. Alabama Power and Light has bought them probably three years in a row for they're 40 year um, veteran employees. But uh, a lot of times it uh, can be kids buying them for their parents, like a retired uh, parent, maybe an electrician. Uh, get a lot of hits around uh, the linemen uh, looking at them because they kind of appeal to that market. I, I want it to be, at the end of the day, uh, functional art at, at, its, at its best. I still want it to have a purpose rather than just to sit on a shelf.